Hello folks, and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Online. Today's episode is brought to you by Gage. Thank you very much, Gage, for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. So, I found a quest. I could not figure out how to change the subtitle, by the way. I think I... Uh, I think I had a mod at one point that would let me move it. Uh, but I think it's probably gone outdated now. Uh, and I haven't updated my mods lately, so... I'll fix it, uh later eventually Your probably tales of make believe may scare off gullible travelers but not me those ruins belong to me now my people will be cleansing this curse in no time you will only join galgala's collection of puppets if we see you again we will assume you are a vessel of his and kill you on sight you have been warned damn son you just got told uh. These Ashlanders in a wild superstition. They speak of spirits who take the bodies of mortals as their own, using them as puppets. Half-truths and exaggerated nonsense to scare off fools. Do I look like a fool to you? That was rhetorical. Ah, a far-fetched tale, nothing more. I won't be scared off by stories of ghosts. Haunted or not, that's my land. You look more competent than the ghost hunters I commissioned. Perhaps you could ensure they don't wind up dead before their job is done? Oh, haven't the foggiest. My people will explain their needs when you find them. The details aren't my concern. I only care about results. Ensure they cleanse Valinvarion, the ruin east of here, and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Do we have a deal? Why are you still standing here? If I wanted to exchange gold for vacant stairs, I'd find a skooma den. Ask then, but badgering me isn't going to get you any closer to a bag of gold. Come on, out with it. What's there to tell? They're old, they're ruined, they're filled with spirits. If you want to believe the Ashlanders' folk tales, one of them can possess mortal bodies. I hold the deed, so I don't care what's laid claim to the land. Evict them. A bunch of self-proclaimed ghost hunters. They were my only option on such a late notice. By the look of them, they could use more muscle. That'd be you. I don't know how much muscle I have, but, uh... Wait. Oh, there's another quest. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this one too, why not? Do not be fooled by the man outside. Galgala is not a spirit to be taken lightly. Those he sent to Valenvarian are already dead, though their bodies may lie convincingly. Galgala is a body shifter, a spirit who expels living souls and uses their bodies as puppets. Though his spirit is bound to Valenvarion, once possessed of a vessel, he is free to roam and lure more into his trap. Our wards would not allow evil spirits to enter the camp. Lord Thonlan is simply, as the outside people of Vardenfell would put it, an ass. <laughs> yeah, I did definitely get that impression. If we knew, Galgala would not still exist. Killing him while he occupies a vessel only frees his spirit. The only answer is to offer nothing to him. Wisdom the man outside does not hear. He also says something about a note? Or maybe that actually that was a that was a different quest. I don't know. No matter how many times I do it, I don't remember that it doesn't switch over to the new quest. Just keep keep being a nest, a non-moving, docile nest. You don't need to spew forth your nasty hornets at me. It's completely unnecessary. I'll take this rune stone though. That's necessary. I gotta have this. All right, where is... Where am I? Oh, okay. All right, it's just a little bit of a run. That's fine. Interesting that there's no, uh, no waypoints out this way, because I'm... Didn't we run over here? I don't remember if we ran over here together, or if I, like, went out here on my own just to kind of look around, but I'm almost positive I've come over here. I do want to go ahead and discover any areas. Like that... What it promised. I'm presuming that icon is a PvP icon now. Like a battleground type thing. That way I I know where this stuff is, right? 
if nothing else. And it gives us a little bit of experience. Yeah, I still haven't made new armor. Like I say, I probably will do that, because I feel like a lot of the armor I saw, like, was 60. Like, I think 60 might be the max. Well, not obviously not the max champion level, but the max, the highest level that gear goes to? That's just the impression that I get. Huh? Valenarian. Oh, ghosts. Wonderful. I'm gonna guess this is where we're gonna end up. Yeah, that's right. This is where we're going. Don't mind me, ghosts. This land is more hostile than I expected. Maybe we should have gone with Farwin to set the wards. Assuage your doubts, my friend. Farwin is a righteous woman who smites evil with her depth of goodness. She will be fine. Right. Go away. Thank you. Oh, Lord Thonlon must have found us a bodyguard after all. You'd have to be crazy to wander around here with all the ghosts unless you knew what you were doing. Lucky for you, this case seems standard. Just some mad spirits in need of final rest. Well, we have a name, Galgala. That'll help us call him out, find out what's ailing him and all that. That'll make things a little bit easier. So long as he's not one of those spirits that tries to possess people or something. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, that changes things a lot. We've only dealt with a possession spirit once. We lost our friend Lonnie dealing with it. That bastard Thanon said nothing about this. We need Farwin's ward set up fast. She went to set her protection wards around the site. Standard practice is to scout for optimal placement. Find Farwin and make sure those wards get set. It should buy us time to figure things out. That'll be a start. Do what you need to in order to get Farwin back here safely. We can't waste any time. Possession spirits aren't to be taken lightly. I'd love to, but she's tight-lipped about the secrets of her old gods. Maybe I should be less stingy in my donations. Shars and I know a trick or two of our own, but it's Farwin's wards that have always kept us safe. We'd be lost without her. I see the ghosts are still on my land, Theo. And here you are, just standing around. So good of you to join us, Lord Thonlin. I'm sure your motivational presence won't be a distraction at all. You gotta counter sass with sass, baby. I like that. I like you. Was it keen on you... At first, because your clothes are kind of dorky, but uh, I kind of like you being a butthole. Hello, Farwin. Do not distract me, stranger. I am imploring the old gods to help me settle the restless spirits of this place, and it is a conversation only for the faithful. I must know exactly where to place my wards, or evil will prevail. My reputation proceeds. I must apologize if you come all this way seeking enlightenment. I would open your eyes to the truth of the old gods if we met under more pleasant circumstances, but now is not the best time. Your help is appreciated. I can fend for myself, but conjuring these wards is taxing, and establishing a spirit barrier is only the first step. I must continually channel the flow of magic to maintain it for any extended period of time. The wards must align around a focal point as near to the haunting as we dare. Poorly placed, the spirit barrier could appear in an undesirable location. Inside solid rock, for instance, and I'll only have the strength to attempt this once. A body shifter? Old gods protect us. Not everyone survived our last brush with something like that. I... I must pray. There. The old gods have lit the way. I shall follow you and save my strength for my magics. Why did you tell them that to start with? I feel like that seems the most pertinent, important information to start with. Whoa, hey! Flame Astronox, how are you doing? Atronox? There's no S in it. Boom! You see me roll out of that right at the right moment? Oh, perfect. Boom! Nuke that corpse. Ah, oh, then stood in the aftermath. Ooh, energy overload to rank. Oh, that's max now, isn't it? I think. Ah, it is. Nice. Sweet. Oh, whoops. Uh, where is the next one? Right here. Not good. 
these spirits are being drawn to where our wards need to be placed. How surprising that is, not. Electrocute their asses, yeah, oh yeah. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Bad remakes, yes. It's so nice to have visitors and so many. Who shall be my favorite time wonder? It's done. The spirit knows what we're up to. We need to hurry before it decides to stop toying with us. All right, go over here next. Luckily, I know where the wards are. I marked them on my map. Oh, I thought you were actually summoned due to the thing going on. Ma'am, you and I want to stand in that? Never mind, just stand away. Stand in it. That's fine. Not my problem. If you want to stand in that red circle, by all means. You're your own person. You don't need me telling you what to do. I think the next war is pretty close by. Break really close by. More ghosts. They must be under the sway of the body shifter. He owns them body and soul. Well, just soul, I think, ma'am. They don't really have too much of a body, frankly. Whoa. That was a cool looking spell. Yeah, I definitely gotta get the more uh, active spell going on. Because it was just the one AE. Not much to do. Now, aren't you an interesting pair? More lively than the other ones. <laughs> More vital. I look forward to wearing your skin. Scales, you actually. Has lingered here for a very long time. But have faith that the old god's power is far older. Oh, well, that makes me feel confident. Because, you know, the longer something's been around, the more powerful it is. Like cars and sandwiches. There, the last one. Clear the way and we'll be safe soon enough. Eh, I probably should save this for something nastier. Boosh. Oh. There was less of a boosh than I had hoped. Oh shit. Ah hell, that's not good. I'm sure she's fine. She's probably fine. I think he took her to like a resting area where she could gather her strength again. My righteous friend, what are you doing with your hands? It intimidates the ghosts when I stand like this. It tricks them into believing that I'm the one wielding this power. You look like an idiot. Be gone, evil spirits. <laughs> Be gone. Oh, hey. It worked. Ah, <laughs> nice. Well, at least the ward is keeping the spirits out for now. Which is good, considering we're nothing more than vessels to them. I'm not ready to give up my body just yet. Still some good years in this one. But where's Farwin? She must be with you. We have to get her back, before it's too late. She's not lost. It's no easy thing casting a living soul from its body. We have time, but she's not the only one in danger. This shield won't last very long without Farwen channeling magic to it. I don't suppose he offered us a handy map or some directions to where he's hiding. No, of course not. This damn spirit wants to use one of our own against us. Well, two can play at that. If we can lure a spirit into this ward, we'll have it under our control. Temporarily, anyways. We'll be able to question it. If the spirit is bound to this Galgala, it'll be compelled to tell us where he hides. By breaking it down to its very essence and then rebuilding it again. I need you to destroy these spirits until you find one powerful enough that its essence remains. Bring that essence back to us, and we'll do the rest. Alright. I we couldn't have found one earlier when we were killing ghosts. But that's fine. I'm sure we'll get one very quickly. Very quickly. Indeed.
I love that I stun a ghost. Oh, that's right. I was going to use that other staff, wasn't I? Just to... Well, really no point since we don't have the... The staff weapon effect. I lost my buff. Ooh. Oh, root them, please. Thank you. Should have nuked the other one. When it does that stun. They're still dying pretty quick, so. They admit you guys need to have, like, an essence. Alright, whoops, wrong one. I always switch. Or try to switch out of that. I like <laughs> poor little guy. Oh, hey. Hello, ancient spirit. Where'd you come from? Beautiful. I'm gonna send you back wherever it was. Get out of here. Alright, let's head on back. I'm gonna guess that spawns whenever the essence drops. Even though it's weird that you get the essence before you kill the strong one, that it kind of doesn't make sense. Place the essence a little bit backwards. We're ready to begin the summoning. Rise we'll do oh wow, he got wrecked. Bound to my command. Why do you summon me, vessels? Vengeful spirit, you will tell us where your master holds our friend. Silence, weaklings. I will speak to the one who brought me here. Wait, that's not how this is supposed to work. <laughs> Yes, you are strong. I understand Galgala's interest now. You will make a fine vessel. Ask what you will, but our time is short. Determine your questions wisely. <laughs> Galgala does not hide, but a good first question. He is not here. This ruin merely acts as a dungeon for his captive souls. You will know it soon enough. His fortress is near, if you look closely. The lava pass under the bridge of stone. She clings to her shell. Our master likes to toy with his puppets before their end. I remember my death vividly. If Galgala were to be defeated, I'd not be saddened. But there would be consequences. Last question. Choose carefully. Galgala's vessel must be sundered. His essence will spill from it like a broken dam, seeking another victim to drown in the flood. Your friend, most likely. Kill her as they struggle, and Galgala will not have strength to resist the pull of the void. I'm sure you do. I'd like to see how this ends, but alas... There goes our ward. Guess Farwen's spell could only hold so long without her being here. Ward or not, I expect my land to be cleared, and soon. We sure are out in the open now, aren't we? I hate to admit it, but we're in over our heads. We have to do something to get Farwen back, but you heard what the spirit said. Shars and I aren't warriors. There's no way we're defeating Galgala. I mean, I know you're supposed to be our bodyguard. I just didn't expect we'd need the position to be taken quite so literally. You know what? I'm going to let you do your job. I might even know where Galgala is. Right. We passed it on our way here, just south. I'll mark it for you. Go and do whatever it takes to save our friend. Farwen's strong. If anyone can deal with an evil spirit in them, it's her. It's too dangerous to stick around without the wards. We'll drag Lord Thonlin back to safety, kicking and screaming if we have to. I don't care about the money, just save Farwin. But if you do banish Galgala, we'll have means to celebrate with. 
All right, team. We're packing up and heading back to town. Our friend will handle it from here. What? What are you talking about? You've hardly done anything. I expect you to clear this ruin, not run away with your tail tucked between your legs. Seeing as you withheld information that's jeopardizing the lives of my team, you voided our satisfaction guarantee. We're leaving. I suggest you follow. Got told yet again. Everybody's just like telling this guy. So yeah, the reason I asked specifically about how to banish a spirit, because I was like, well, you know, we're probably... Well, I was gonna, maybe not probably, but oh, hey. There's a good chance we're not going to be able to save her. It's more important to banish the spirit, because else we're going to be in the same situation, right? Like, it's just going to end up, you know, consuming or possessing somebody else. The flip side of that, though, is... That I feel like if we saved her, she could also then technically, like if you're gonna look at this from a logical perspective, I had hoped to greet you as a friend, but we will be very close soon. Uh, I was thinking, like logically, if we save her, she could then turn around and help us, like banish him forever. But I'm gonna think there's gonna be some kind of tr mechanism that even if you save her you will not be able to, like, uh, banish him. Like, something will happen to her where she doesn't want to do it or something like that. So you have to make a choice. Stand in the lightning, loser. Wow, you're getting wrecked. You suck. Oh, now you're stepping it up a little bit. That's better. Get the pet going. Get some wards up. Oh, God. Go ahead and mana up. Or, uh, throw a hot on just in case. Let's go ahead and, uh, do that. And switch to ultimate mode. Strong. Too strong. I can't have you. But fortunately, I have other playthings. Free? Am I free? I was a prisoner. I can't, I can't think. I, I have to get away. <laughs> all, right, all right, you've gotten away. That's far enough. I... I feel better now. The, the pain, it's... fading. I... I feel so light. Drifting away. Am I dead? Galgala. Yes. His presence is all around, smothering. I... I need to rest. I'm so tired. Just let me lie down for a moment. I... I have to stay awake. My body feels so heavy, but... I, 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 God! It hurts! I can feel him clawing in the back of my eyes! I, I don't know that I can do this! Uh, I don't know. Finish me. End my life before this spirit can take control. I don't want to be his puppet. Um. I feel like. I feel like that's not going to work. I feel like we have to, to offer. Because uh, I feel like they're both like if this is the case then both of them will banish him But this is like you get to banish him and nothing bad happens to her or whatever Um shit I mean she's supposed to be really powerful Fuck it, let's pick this one. What do you know of my gods? <sighs> the irony. My fate left in the hands of my faith. I want to live, divines. You hear me? I am going to live. It's... It's quiet now. It's quiet. Just get out of here. Hmm. 
I'm not 100% sure it worked. Like, I'm thinking that might actually still be him, like he's just playing or like effing around. Like, we're gonna get back and like, uh, they've, like, uh, she's killed them or something. Oh jeez, it's a long run. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what happened. Because that was a little bit too easy to just say, ah, oh, fight it! Ah, no, I can't fight it! Oh, never mind, I fell them off. Oh, well, everything's fine now. Yeah, I think it was gonna be that simple. We'll see. We will see. Man, this is a heck of a run, isn't it? But at least we get another waypoint that we can grab on the way there. Or, uh, we can take, save some time. This is one of those really rocky areas where it's hard to get from one place to another quickly. Nisus. Nisus? Is that the name of it? I think so. Hopefully you guys still enjoying this series. I, I have mostly, uh, ex again, other than that one quest where, like, the the mother, like, the sound quest with the, basically, the dwarf organ was mind-controlling people. Like, that one was a little, little questionable. But I feel like the others, uh, for this expansion have overall been, been quite good. I've liked them, at least. Alright, so we're finally close to the waypoint. And then we can travel to the other waypoint in, uh, Gnosis? Nisus? I think it's Nisus. What do you have when you've got multiple niece? You have nieces. I don't have any. Because I'm an only child, so I'll never have a niece. Well, I guess if I were to get married to someone who had a brother and sisters. Alright, let's go this way. Because I guess you're not nieces-in-law, you're just nieces at that point. Two nieces and nephews, whatever. Too much to keep track of. We're gonna go inside and they're gonna be dead, aren't they? Dead or in hell. And our hero returns. Let's hear it for our friend here. To bravery, honor, and righteousness. May the old gods' blessings be upon you. She gonna are you gonna say something like, She's acting strangely, but she's back. We were wondering when you were going to arrive. I told the others to wait until you got here before we began celebrating, but Shars found the drinks, and one thing led to another, and well. I'm glad that you're here now. <laughs> Good spirits. I'll have to remember that one. Why wouldn't we be? You saved our dear Farwin and rid the world of a terrible evil. Farwin told us all about your battle to banish Galgala, the stuff of legends. She said you destroyed his material body and drove him out of those ruins. With Galgala gone, those other bound spirits will clear out soon enough as well. Not even Lord Thonlan can argue the results. Our job is a success because of you. As promised, here's your payment. I even threw in some extra for going above and beyond what we could have ever asked of you. If we ever decide to start an official Ghost Hunters Guild, you will be the first to know, my friend. If you all excuse me, I'm going to find some more wine. This day has been quite taxing. Yeah, I'm not buying this for a second. We're gonna follow her. Stealthily. T oh my god, there's a bear down here! Yep. Hey, how's it going? Looking suspicious. I'm sorry. I just needed to take a little breather away from everyone. Just... just a bit to get my strength back. Then I'll be as good as normal. No one needs to know what actually happened to Galgala. I... I have things under control. He's gone from the ruins, which means we did our job and get paid. Why else does it matter? I'm thankful for your concern, but the eight will protect me and guide my hand. Now, please, mm. you're making much out of nothing. I will be fine. Did I say the eight? I, I, I believe in all gods, the eight included. It's part of my strength. In fact, I should pray right now. Good day. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that simple. 
I do like how there was this little bit of extra though. Like if you were actually paying attention and followed her and talked to her, you actually got a little bit more. Hey, how's it going? Graku ghoul. I won't bother stealing from that. I'm sorry. I just wonder if I talk to these guys. I highly doubt I can say anything. Maybe we should make ah. things official and establish a formal business. Vardenfell has so many old spirits. There must be droves of people just looking for someone to call on. We'd need a name, though. Something catchy. Farwin? Certainly. I really can't thank you enough for saving her body and soul from an ancient, monstrous spirit of pure malice. What's that look for? Oh no, please don't tell me we didn't banish Galgala. I've already marked it down as a victory in our new guild job log. Wait, does this mean we didn't banish him? Is he contained? Is that not Farwin? Am I going to have to change the job log? So much paperwork. What a relief. Farwin is strong, stronger than any of us. If anyone can resist such a thing, it's our friend. I... We'll watch over her, though. But if Galgala isn't roaming about freely, that counts as a victory for us, right? <laughs> Maybe we should make things official and establish a formal business. Okay, your sharks. Your actions are selfless and courageous. You have proven yourself worthy of the name friend. I would buy you a drink to toast it, but my coin is already pledged to the orphanage of my homeland. Oh, of course, right. I think. Can I borrow some gold to pay for this? <laughs> you are kind of wearing a potato sack. Yeah, they're gonna die. But I do like the little extra because, you know, more often than not, quests like that would just end. There was a little tip that, yeah, things are not gonna probably end up going well for them. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and use our uh, champion points. We got, well, one point. Like, how many points? Oh, I think... Oh, no, that's right. We found a hundred. A hundred is the max that you can put into one of these. Cool. All right. Well, that'll do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Gage for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the series and like the videos if you like them. Uh, it does help me out a lot, and I'll see you next time.